this is one of those horrific things where you get attacked for politicizing tragedy, tragedy when you talk about them. But it's necessary to talk about these things. An illegal alien from El Salvador has been charged with the rape and murder of Rachel Morin. He entered the country, was a gotaway last year. They got him, processed him, and then let him back out. When he first crossed the border, he crossed undetected. An Ecuadorian illegal alien has been charged with the rape and kidnapping of a 13-year-old girl in New York City. He had been caught and released in 2021. Two illegal aliens from Venezuela have now been charged with murdering 12-year-old Jocelyn Nungary in Houston. They were caught and released at the border this year. Infuriatingly, the Associated Press has the story of these two men. Let me read to you part of this. Two men who were seen on surveillance footage with a 12-year-old girl before her body was found in a Houston Creek earlier this week were arrested Thursday in her death, police said. Juan Jose Rangel Martinez, 21, and Franklin Jose Pina Ramos, 26, each face a charge of capital murder and the killing of Jocelyn Nungary, police said. The medical examiner has determined her cause of death was strangulation. It was unclear if the two suspects had attorneys yet to speak on their behalf. Jocelyn's body was found in the shallow water of a creek Monday morning. Police said she had sneaked out of her nearby home the night before. Police said surveillance footage showed the men meeting up with Jocelyn before walking to a convenience store with her. The three then walked to the bridge together where Jocelyn was killed. Sexual assault exams are pending. Nowhere in the story does the Associated Press bother to tell you that these two men are illegal aliens. The police said they were in the initial reports. The Associated Press doesn't want you to know. They left it out. It was an editorial choice of the Associated Press to not tell you these two men were illegal aliens. An undocumented, that that's the headline uh, they wanted to use in this press, illegal alien. Jose Pauline Pascal Rios is accused of beating a woman and her young son to death in Tallapoosa County, Alabama. 11 counts, capital murder and abuse of a corpse in Alabama. Five men from Mexico and Honduras have been arrested and charged with kidnapping after a teenage girl reported missing from Cass County, Indiana, was found with them in Missouri. According to court documents, Marlon Aguilar of Honduras and four other men were booked in the Macon County Jail after Missouri Highway Patrol located the girl uh, during a traffic stop. Missouri State Highway Patrol became aware of the missing girl on June 17th after she was reported missing June 16th. According to court documents, the teenage girl's father reported her missing. These men all turned out to be illegal aliens, too. Eight illegal aliens have been arrested by the federal government from Tajikistan, all of them illegal aliens who crossed the border, and they have ties to ISIS and were caught after discussing making bombs. In Olympia, Washington, an Uber driver who turns out not to be a legal alien, picked a young woman up at the bar when she was too drunk to take herself home, and the Uber driver manipulated the app to claim that he had taken her where she needed to take, drove her to an area, and abused her. The left's answer to all of these things is, well, you know, immigrants to this country are less likely to commit crime than the people here. Now, that's not necessarily the case, actually. First of all, you've already broken the law crossing over illegally, but beyond that, not every state is able to keep up with the residency of people when they go into the crime database and they don't often update it. So it's actually not really known, but that's the talking point for the left. The left says, and let's take it at face value without quibbling with them, let's take it at face value that you not, people who are here legally are more likely to commit crime than people who are here illegally. Okay, fine, but the illegals are still committing crime, so the rate of crime is still going up. Even if they commit less crimes than those who are here legally, they're still committing more crimes for us to deal with, and all of these people would be alive 
had those illegal aliens not been here, and I didn't even mention Lakin Riley from Athens, Georgia, who was out for a run, murdered by an illegal alien, all of these people are here because of Joe Biden. None of these people crossed over when Donald Trump was president. They all crossed over when Joe Biden became president because Joe Biden wanted to make sure everybody south of the border knew that he was there now, not Donald Trump, and that things were changing. He repealed all of the executive orders that Donald Trump had put in place to keep those people out. Rachel Morin is now dead because of it. A 13-year-old girl in New York City is dead because of it. Lakin Riley is dead because of it. Jocelyn Nungary is dead because of it. How many more Americans are going to die because of Joe Biden? We have illegal aliens in this country plotting terrorist attacks against the United States because of Joe Biden. Yes, because of Joe Biden. I, you know, I occasionally get crazy emails from crazy people who are very quick to be offended. Yesterday on the program, I said that this is not about Barack Obama. These are not things Barack Obama did. This is all on Joe Biden. And some guy, crazy listener emails, I can't listen to you anymore. You tried to excuse Barack Obama. You keep making these mistakes and and this is on Barack Obama. No, the hell it's not. None of these people crossed the border when Barack Obama was president. And you can accuse Barack Obama of pulling the puppet strings at all. But the point of the matter and the reason I said it is because Joe Biden is president of the United States. Stop trying to absolve Joe Biden of responsibility. People on the right want to concoct some conspiracy. It's not really Joe. It's Barack Obama. People on the left want to say, actually, it's Donald Trump who enabled this. No, this is all on Joe Biden's. The blood is on Joe Biden's hands. Joe Biden got rid of the executive orders that Donald Trump put in place. These people started flooding the border. And all Joe Biden has done since is performance. His executive order that supposedly shuts the border, it's not shutting the border for anybody. They're still coming. The wave of humanity is still coming across the border on a daily basis. They're overwhelming cities. They're overwhelming towns. They're overwhelming American taxpayer resources, and they're killing American citizens. They're plotting terrorist attacks. And why, for the love of God, is this not an ad campaign by the Republicans on a daily basis to remind people every single one of these individuals would be alive had Joe Biden not caused a porous, open border. This is a campaign issue. You're not exploiting deaths. You're telling the truth. Joe Biden says Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. Joe Biden's policies are literally getting Americans killed. It's not just that Joe Biden is driving up the cost of your groceries. Joe Biden's policies are causing Americans to die, to be raped and murdered by illegal aliens taking advantage of Joe Biden's border policies. This is absolutely an issue for campaign 2024, and the Republicans should make it an issue. It was one of the most effective moments of Donald Trump's presidency. He brought in parents whose uh, daughter had been murdered by MS-13, by, by the gang, and talked about the terror that this gang is bringing to parts of the United States, where even local law enforcement, American law enforcement, is scared to go into some parts of some neighborhoods because the gang is so violent, they'll target the police officers' families. It's time to bring that back. It's time to highlight that. Rachel Morin, remember her name. Raped and murdered by an illegal alien. Jocelyn Nungary, remember her name raped and murdered by two illegal aliens from Venezuela. And remember, the Associated Press wanted to bury that fact. The Associated Press, for which multiple other newspapers and news organizations around the country will get the wire feed and run the story, left out the fact that it was illegal aliens because they're trying to cover for Barack Obama. They are for Joe Biden. Look, here I go. They're trying to cover for Joe Biden. They're trying to protect Joe Biden. They do not want Joe Biden held responsible for the consequences of his actions. So they don't want you to know. They do not want you to understand it's illegal aliens doing this. Lake and Riley. Remember her name. Killed by an illegal alien in Athens, Georgia, who came here while Barack Obama or while Joe Biden was president came here while Joe Biden was president, went to New York City. Alvin Bragg let the murderer out of jail in New York City. 
The guy made his way to Georgia. These are progressive policies coming home to roost. George Soros funded prosecutors letting these people out of prison, but Joe Biden refusing to secure the border in the first place so that they can come here. Americans are dying. And the left wing talking point that, well, Americans are actually more violent than the illegal aliens may be so, but all of these people were killed by illegal aliens, not by Americans. All of these people would be alive had Joe Biden done his primary job as president of the United States to protect American citizens. He failed, and the Associated Press and others are now trying to cover up for him and bury the fact that these are illegal aliens killing these people. The fact of the matter is Joe Biden should be held accountable, and I hope like hell next week at that debate that Donald Trump will hold Joe Biden accountable for his porous border problems. This is an argument the Republicans need to not be scared of, but make it. All of these people would be alive had Joe Biden not won the presidency in 2020, and more people will die if you let Joe Biden stay in office.